All right, you bet, Randy. Thank you. I love that Sunday, breezy and mild, 60 degrees. Okay, we're talking some science. We're talking Wonder Lab. We have Deirdre with us, and we have Sam as well, education director, exhibits manager, all coming together for some science. Shall we do this? Let's, Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so you showed me a little something before yeah. of kind of how this works, but I want to get the full effect. Okay, okay. All right, so I brought some science experiments, and I intentionally brought things that people can do at home. I love that. So that this is accessible to anyone. You can use materials similar to what I have that you probably already okay. have around the house. Perfect. So both of the things I brought are based on science of sound. Science okay. of sound. And so the first one we call spoon gongs. So I have some spoons here okay. with strings attached. You don't have to have holes in your spoons. I could have tied this down around the neck. Okay, and so it doesn't sure it really matter. Not to slide. Okay. And if we really wanted to experiment, we could have all kinds of stainless and metal kitchen utensils okay. and see what makes a different sound. You know, but Chef Carl will be probably doing this in his kitchen now when he goes back, <laughs> right? Exactly. Okay. You have these spoons in your kitchen, I know you do. If you would like to do this with me, okay. so go ahead so and grab, go ahead and grab one. one. Yep. And what we are going to do is hold it like this and wrap around our fingers, leaving enough to hang, kind of like, kind of like a really lovely spoon necklace okay. here. You want okay. a little bit of hang. And then oh, you're going to, to stick your fingers in your ear. ears. <laughs> okay. okay. Stick my fingers in my ears. And after doing that, you're going to get a good swing and whack this against the edge While of the table. While my fingers are in my ears. While your fingers are in your ears. Okay. One. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like dong. <laughs> right. Well, let me do it again. It yeah. reminds me of someone taking a big. What do you call those? A gong. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. so that is the gong. Yes, or that it sounds crazy. kind of like church bells. Okay, that... but it doesn't, that exactly. is not what I hear. Right, right. So, but in your ears, you're hearing this amazing That's so rich cool. sound. I feel like everybody right. needs to go <laughs> That is so cool. Yeah. So the vibration from when you hit the spoon on the surface is traveling up the string mm. and directly into your ears. That is And you so get that really nice rich you sound. That's why call it a gong. Okay. okay. Yeah. That so, makes sense. Again, anybody can try this at home. Okay. Yarn, string, you don't have to have a special type Absolutely. of string. Absolutely. So I brought one more sound. Okay. Um, we call these the, the talking chicken or the funky chicken. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And again, I just have yarn. This is a cup from a dental office, very high tech science equipment here, and your classic. Solo yes, red cup. Yes. I have a wet sponge here. You can use a wet paper towel. You can use a wet washcloth. Okay. And what I'm going to do is create friction in the way that I kind of jerkily slide this down here. And then this is going to act like a sound box and amplify that, that sound. And uh, kind of in the same way that a, that a piano's wooden casing acts like a okay. sound box. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you get this rather chicken sound <laughs> that's uh, uh we can get us uh, we should be able to get a slightly is, louder, is that louder one with here it should be yes <laughs> and if you get does that work you can <laughs> take it out to the woods <laughs> yeah. maybe you could and you can get a larger you can get like an ice yeah. cream tub or that a cottage so cheese neat. tub and it'll sound more like oh, a pig i could do this you could do, do all this. kinds or of pig. sounds but, yes. but we don't okay. have pigs so real we animals hissing cockroaches <laughs> So in the theme of sound, I brought a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Okay. And what's really, really interesting about these guys, amongst many things, is they produce a hissing sound, hence the name. Mm -hmm. And they produce this sound uh, similar to a, a vertebrate using their respiratory system rather okay. than traditional insects that use stridulation, which is the rubbing of body parts together to make a sound. Mm -hmm. These guys use respiratory systems, so they take What air, makes them hiss? Oh, uh, aggression, okay. uh, predators. Oh, it's them getting mad. Yeah, okay. fighting over a, a mate or territory okay. food. Yeah. Uh, it's aggressive, and it's mostly males to males. Okay. Um, they, in fact, the males have these giant horns on their head uh, it, for fights. They they bang their heads together uh -huh. oh. uh, to fight, and you're more than welcome to touch him oh, if you would well, like. Come here, little guy. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! You heard me? Oh! You must not like me. He's yes. very well trained. Sam planned that. Really? Yes. Yeah. And so what's great is the sound. Okay. That, <laughs> the sound you just heard was coming uh, not from a mouth like our sound comes yeah. from. It comes from these holes in the back that are called spiracles. Uh huh. Um, and it's kind of like our trachea. And air goes in and out, and oh, that's how he makes that sound. I was totally willing to do that. Like, he does not want me to touch him. But we have to know where are you guys located. Where can we come find and visit you? Because I know you have so much for us to see. Okay. So um, go ahead. Sam. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, Bloomington is 
found, or we're found in Bloomington. In Bloomington, okay. Yeah, we found Bloomington yes. right by the Beeline Trail. Okay, you um, got it. Yeah, so you can find us right there. We're Just right come and have some fun. I know the kids would absolutely love this. Yes. See all kinds of things yeah. like this, and hopefully the cockroaches like you better. <laughs> Wonderlab.org is where you can find them. We'll put that link on IndieStyle.tv. Gosh darn it, Brenna, I tried. <laughs> you did. You know what? You made a cup cluck, and you made a cockroach hiss. I think I call that a Donald Duck.